Welcome to the Miniatures Paintbrush. Today we're going to talk about Bang in Ah! Alrighty, folks, here we go. We're going to tell you about my updated cabal. My current number of souls is 26, and my spike gained the title Maladroid. When I die, I can roll twice on the loss table and choose the result. And we move on to my fire hands. Well, his move reduced to five, but his combat increased to seven. Mm. Look out. That's because of the, the loss table twisted. Yeah, here yep. comes my fire hands. And I have a new minion demon. Don't be jealous of the name. Thunder Cookies <laughs> is a, my thunder is my minion demon's name. That's a great name. It is a slaughter fiend, moves of five, life of ten, combat of six. My special abilities are par paragons of slaughter. All right, time for my uh, cabal. Uh, my cabal, actually, I have uh, current number of souls is 30. I'm trying to save up for some greater demon goodness coming up next term. My experience points are getting up there that I can recruit some really heavy hitters. All right, so uh, let's talk about my devout demon. So Samael gained the title of the survivor because he survived three games in a row. And that title bonus gave his life up to 13. Also, because he had experience of six got a greater evolution and that means he starts out with a righteousness of one per game remember that i can use righteousness at any point in time to add to my dice rolls all right let's continue all right so we have he kate over here now he kate um i had the souls loss table so i what i did is reduce his life to nine but increase his combat to seven, uh, to seven because he is a slaughter fiend after all. So I want him to hit like a truck. All right. Uh, the spine demon is up next. Got the ability curse touch essence, making it harder to hit uh, Lizabelle. All right. Lamia, Lamia had uh, an upgrade to life of eight. Uh, and, and actually that's because she got the uh, lost table and it reduced the life to eight. So I was going to reduce something and I didn't want to reduce the combat ability because her combat ability was already at four and like, mm, not so much. So there he is. All right. Next up, Impusa got the title Maladroid, so she can, he, uh, he or she can roll on the Souls Loss table twice, and I can choose which uh, result. Also, uh, I increased the move to 10 because of Twisted that I got in the last game, and reduced the combat to 2 because I'm really not going to use this Minfred in battle. This Minfred is for one thing, one thing only to grab objectives, all right? And that's what I want to do with it. All right, Mara. Let's talk about Mara. Mara uh, has Essence of the Void, and this is new uh, because Kaiju Shorts made a comment on my last video, and I do listen to the comments, made a comment in my last video and said, hey, um, you got to look when you rolled on the, on the essence table for the last one, you, you count that as a nine, but actually I think it was a six and he was totally right with that. So instead of getting that other essence that I said that I was going to get, it was the essence of the duelist I actually got essence of the void. So I gave essence of the void to Mara here. All right. So here's the agenda game two. I won with relic counters desecration, the game three, I won as well on a game. I won one game one now it's time for the twins i think it's time to see if nicole's gonna win this one all right let's go down to the table town all right welcome back true believers it is time for another battle report Raid in hell and here is the field so let me zoom back in and we have two relics one here and one here and how we're playing the scenario is you get to destroy one of these and then you have to keep one of them for the end of the game <laughs> 
And if you are the one with the relic at the end of the game of your choosing, then you will win the game. So this game is called The Twins, and that's how we're playing this scenario out. Here are my starting crew, my cabal, ready to demolish once again. Or is the contender going to win? Nicole's Force, Fire Force right there, ready for action. Alrighty, so let's get started with round one. We're gonna get this game started off with my cloaks is going to fly over here and pick up this relic and we're going to keep this one. Ooh. For my second move, Spike is gonna move here into the building. He's going to hide. There goes that succubus. Alrighty, a time for my move and my armor demon, Lilith. And she's right here. She's going to use Essence of the Void to disappear from the battlefield and appear 12 inches, up to 12 inches from her spot. And that gets her right onto this objective right here. And she is going to claim that objective. Oh, it's time to fight it out. So Fire Hands is going to take a trip right there. Oh, trippy. Go fire hands. For my next move, Zegan the Covetous is going to go down here. So let's move that right there and pull shit right there. Err. Alright, James thinks he wants to be part of the action, so we're going to move him closer to the action. Alright, closer to the action, there goes Chains. Next up is my Samael, Lord of the Pit, is going to fly like an eagle. Alright, and there is his move there to position himself. Alright, since my Memphret really doesn't have that much combat ability, we're going to move him here as far away from the action as possible. We want to keep him alive. Probably not. All right, time for my Slaughter Fiend to move. He Kate, and He Kate's going to move from his move right up to there. He's not using his uh, Mist Cloak Essence, so Essence of the Void. So I'm going to save that for later. All right, and if I can help it, I will slaughter your wings. <laughs> this is H-E double hockey sticks after all. All right, time for Lizbell to move into the action. Let's go. Mwahahaha, <laughs> I wear bones for fun. All right, my thunder cooker is going to go right here. Because I love chocolate chip cookies. She, she does love chocolate chip cookies, by the way. Thunder cookies. No righty. My straps is going to travel, 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 travel right here. All righty. All right, so for my moves, Lamia, the tentacle beast, is going to be moving his full movement all the way over there. And then I'm going to have Carnate, the spine demon, going to move his move right there. And for my third move, my Mimfrint, Impusa, is going to fly over here just to, just to chill and protect his master right there. All right, so those are my three moves. All right. Mr. Claus, here we go, here we go, here we go. I love the way you say his name. All right, there it is. There is the setup. All right, time for my turn. Time to move my slaughter fiend pair. Oh, they're just going out on a date. What are you doing, slaughter fiending? Oh, slaughter, yeah, have you slaughter fiend lately? Uh, like all the time. Okay, there it is. Those are the moves for that Slaughter Fiend. And those are my two final moves for round one. All right, in round one, a couple of things happen. My Armor Demon used her once per game Void, Essence of the Void ability to move tw uh, 12 inches and move over there. And then, uh, hello, we got, is that Cloaks? Cloaks is over there um, grabbing an objective. So we both have objectives there. Now one of the objectives need to be destroyed. 
and the one holding the last objective is the one that's going to win. We're in position, we're kind of leaking over this way. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff, fire forces ready to go on this one. And that is round one, great positioning for round two. All right, let's go. Okay, getting round two started. I get to move twice and my first move is I'm gonna move this cloaks out of here that has my relic that I chose to keep out of harm's way or out of being destroyed. Cause I think I'm gonna try and win this one, but you know, who knows what will happen. We'll see. All right, so for my second move, all right, I'm going to take fire hands in and charge your the armor demon. Oh no! Armor demon. He, she has the relic. Aha! Uh -huh, I'm in trouble now. All right, so you got plus one for the charge, and what is your combat ability? Seven, and I'm adding. When focus combat plus two to attack. But only. you're not focus combat. You're charging. Five, six, so seven, okay. eight. So I'm adding one. All right, go for it. You're hitting on twos, so you take out all the ones, and you're left with five. So that means you hit five times. All right, time for defense. All right, time for my defense dice. Let's go. All right, I defend against one of them, and let me check the abilities that you have as well. All right, the special ability is that I can choose to change one combat dice into a six, so that's an auto pass right there. I block two out of your five, and that means I get three damage. All right, so next up, my Samael is gonna come in for the attack, charging in, Rot there. All right, getting plus one for that charge, hitting on twos, and there it is. I miss one, therefore, I make seven successful attacks. Move these out of the way. Go for it. How many do you defend on? All righty, so you defend on two of these. That's pretty good. So you get five attacks that go through. So, how, what is your life on fire hands? Five. Really, it's five life? Oh no, it's five remaining, ten. it's five. 10 total. All right, all right. Ooh, I was about to say one shot kill, woo, woo. All right, so you got five. I took down his life by half. All righty. Okay, I'm going to have my spike come in here. Move out here within three inches of Samael and your armor demon. And this little guy has the ability to um, control So that's that the demon. two charming ability. Yeah. So I'm gonna have Samael attack your armor demon. All right. So you gotta have Samael attack my armor, my armor demon. So you gotta have my second attack my armor demon? All right, Samael has a combat of seven and hitting on twos against the armor demon. So let's see what we get. Alrighty, so all successes. This is, let me get this over here, and then these guys over here. This all successes, that's seven successes. Let's see what my poor Lilith, the armor demon, holding the relic, does. Boom. All right, so protect against one, and I could turn one of these into an auto success, which is there. That means three damage more for my armor demon hot dog. That's leaving it with seven life. All right, time for Zegan the Covetous to come in. Just enough, long enough to get this charge in. Uh, it's under eight inches, so we gotta get that spike and hit like a truck right there doing uh, combat ability of nine plus one for the charge. And when charging natural sixes, because the essence of the ram does twice the damage. So let's see what I get. All right, I see a couple of sixes here. One, two. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Three, oh, that was a six. Three and four. Okay, so four. Hitting on twos, these two go away. So these are the regular ones. I get four regular hits right there. Okay, I'm gonna separate that time for your defense. All right, Spike's gonna defend. Get them sixes. 
None. All right, so let's do damage. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage. Zegan the Covetous is truly a beast. Twelve damage to your spike. How much life did your spike have? No. Ouch, nine, dead, one shot kill. -ha -ha -ha. Time for my soul dice. All right, I get a three for my soul dice. I'm gonna put that into here. One shotters. Zegan's a beast. All right, next activation is yours. I'm going to move straps in a little bit closer. All righty. Alrighty, time for Lilith to get into the mix. I have a uh, lower combat ability, so I'm hitting on fours, a plus one for focus combat. So let's see what I get. Alrighty. Oh my good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So I miss, miss, but I got four successes. That's the highest I think I've ever rolled for that armor demon. All right, time for the defense roll. And the defense roll is here. They all four go through. So that's four damage to fire hands, leaving it with one damage. Oh my goodness. That's the best Lilith has ever done. Look at that. And for my next move, Bone Reaper is gonna move over here. Another slaughter fiend just coming in for the kill. Oopsie. Going in for the kill. Alright, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna make this hard for you. I'm gonna move my thunder cookies back here a little bit further. All right, nice positioning. Already time for my moves. I get three consecutive moves, so I'm gonna take my tentacle beast and move all the way over here. Ta -ta, cresting around the corner from the enemy. And then I'm gonna take my spine demons. I'm gonna take this one here. Uh, movement of six inches, and then the other spy demon is also going to move all the way over here uh, to join the party. And those are my three moves. Alright, I'm going to build a wall around my cloaks that has my relic and move my wings back. Alright, Hecate the Slaughter Fiend is going to move up. There we go, getting in position. Chains is gonna come back here and claws. Whoop. Ooh, that is the defense right there, isn't it? All right, here it comes. Alrighty, so time to move my final movements. I'm gonna move you into position right there, and I am going to move my Ampusa because just because I want to. It's gonna be on that fan, just like twiddle toning. So let me see if it fits. <gasps> it does. It very for looking. Look at that. That's so cool. Anyway, there we are for round number two. We have the defensive position over here. Oh boy. And I got to come at you, bro, uh, with all my dudes. So let's see. I'm going to come at you, bro. All right. Anywho, time for round come at you, bro. <laughs> Three. Let's fight. Alrighty, so time for that round three. Nicole and I both have 12s. I'll show you her uh, ice rolls right here. And there's a lot of back and forth here, a lot of alternating activations, but we have to roll off for the first turn, the magnanimous first turn, ready? All right, I got a five and you got a one. That means I am going first. All right. All right, for my first activation, I'm gonna do Zegan the Covetous and he is going to move his eight inches right there, uh, facing down that whole horde over here. Okay, Firehands is going to play an attack on Lilith. Uh, Rob's uh, armor demon. And you got that Paragons of Slaughter, but I see a whole bunch of ones there, but you're hitting on twos. So all the ones have to disappear from there. Okay, so that means you have six successes with that. Now if you can get those out of the way, I'll roll my defense. All right, here it comes. Let's see how many I block. All right, I block one of these, but I can turn one of these into an instant success. So I'm gonna do that right here, making it, if 
I can find the six there, making it two block successes. And you got six that went through, six, five, four. So four hit. Lilith, my armor demon, who is also holding the relic, is going to give it back to fire hands. Um, hitting on fours. Let's see what he get. Oh, a lot of successes here. Uh, four successes. That's awesome. That's a lot better than I could imagine there. And you only have one life on your fire hands. Let's see if you can deflect four successes. And did you get plus one for being in focus combat? Throw another dice in there. Okay, so let me see. You got two successful blocks right there. That means you get two damage. Does that kill him? That kills him. Ooh, that kills him. And I could get to roll a soul dice. So here it is. Here goes my soul dice. All right, I roll a three. I'm gonna put that with the other soul dice that I have a rot there. Awesome. All right, Straps is going to move in and go for the attack on Lilith. Combat of five. Hitting on twos because you get an additional combat for uh, charging in. One, two, three, four, five. Five, so that means I have to roll all sixes to deflect all of them. Let's see what happens there. I deflect one, but since I can turn one into a combat die, I mean one into a uh, six, so a three damage goes through. I have four you life. You have three life. Three life? That kills Lilith. That kills Lilith, all right, drops the relic. All right, Nicole rolls a soul dice, go for it. She rolled a six off screen, so uh, she gets a six. <laughs> there you go. All right, my poor Lilith uh, dies. I take that off, and what I do is I'm going to replace that with the relic, which I'm going to place right over here. Yep, that's where Lilith stood. Yikes. All right. Okay, my next move is I'm gonna get my Carnate to go in there and pick up that relic. So Carnate's gonna pick up that relic and move right in here. Uh, get that relic out of the way. And she's pre-measuring. Look at that, she's pre-measuring, she's thinking, look at that. Anyway, pretty awesome stuff. I'm gonna take my Thunder Cookie and move her to the corner. All right, Thunder Cookies is making his move. Thunder Cookies is the name of that one that I painted uh, last weekend. <laughs> All right, let's go. Next up, time for my slaughter fiend, who's slaughter fiend, who's not in combat, to fly all the way inside here and close. You gotta chill in there for now. Awesome, and that is my move. All right, Cloaks is going to fly back and come back here behind my claws. Nice. Alrighty, so he cape my slaughter fiend is going to use essence of the void. That means it turns into mist and gets completely knocks over his body here. Uh, gets completely turned into mist and disappears from the battlefield. And I could put him 12 inches from the spot. So I'm going to go right through the buildings and go right here, so he can be a threat to that over there. Try to get that objective. James is going to move here and attack. You got to move on the opposite side of that. That guy. Yeah, that's okay. All right, there it is. Ooh, my leader. All right, so epic battle over here. Chains is going to make their attack, hitting on fours, because that's my beat stick over there. Zegan, go for it. All right, hitting on fours. Ooh, that looks really good. All right, so you hit one, two, three, four times. All right, let's get these out of the way. All right, let's see. I have nine chances. Oh, look at that. And I could turn one of these into a six. So I'm going to do that right here. I blocked two of these. Get those two out of the way. That means you do two damage to me. All right, Lamia, my tentacle beast is going to move uh, ever so closer right here. I cannot charge into thunder cookies. That would have been fun, but I can't. All right, Liz Bell is going to move her six inches, going right up to the corner here, turning the corner. Oh boy. All right, next up, my other slaughter fiend, Mara, is going to also use her essence of the void and going to all the way on this side, reinforce support, 
coming on that way. So that's gonna be interesting. All right, time for Bone Reaper to come in. And I'm going to charge in to your straps, which is an armor demon. So he's coming in for, uh, for a beat down. Okay, getting an extra one for the charge. Hitting on twos. Let's see, no ones, no ones. All right, well, one one. Okay, there it is. One one, uh, and that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six successes, and you defend. And I get to reroll one die for both attack or defense and choose to change one result of one combat device defense die to six. Go for it. Turning one of those to a six and re-rolling one. No, doesn't get it. So two block, and since I have six, that means I give four damage that go through. Wings, whoops, it's it's going to- a Little tipsy there. <laughs> move back here. All right, nice defensive position. Finally, my Impusa is going to fly. She believes she could fly right up to there. Standing there, looking ominous. And uh, you have one more move? No, I'm done. All right, you got, you have to move Claws, and Claws decided to stay right there, correct? Yeah. All right, so decided to keep Claws right there. Successfully burying uh, your objective in. That's pretty cool, actually. Great move. All right, so within this turn, some awesome stuff happened uh, for me. I took down Fire Hands, which is pretty cool. And... Uh, Got a lot of positioning going. I, I used a lot of my Essence of the Void to move across the field faster than uh, speeding bullets over here. <laughs> okay, so. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it for round number three. Any thoughts about round number three? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I think all the action is going to happen here in round number four. All right, for my activation, I have. 11 it's gonna get start me off first Nicole has a nine starting hers uh, I'll have two activations before her so I'm gonna start off my first activation with Lamia my tentacle beast to attack your claws I'm gonna come in and face you off right there I am using uh, my attack oh thank you I'm hitting on fours, and I have, let me, I thought I only had five. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, one for charging in. Just checking Lamy over there. Yeah, I have four plus one for charging in, so hitting on fours with your combat ability of nine, so let's see what I get. Oh, nice! I get two hits right there, and I miss. So that's two hits, and now you have nine defense. Alrighty, so anything above, oh yeah, you got your, your sixes. So that's only one over here. Do you have any ability that you could turn one into a six? Yep, I do. Okay, so you block two, so you block my two successes and I do nothing to you. All right, that's my first attack. Next up, my Samael. My second is gonna come in and charge in wings right there. Uh, trying to hit, he's gonna start with his combat ability seven plus one for charging in. So let's see what he get, hitting on twos. And there's a lot of ones there. One, two, three misses automatically. All right, I got five hits. You gotta go and beat five hits. All right, you get none. I get five damage to your wing, to your wings. Yeah. How much does that leave it with? Uh, seven minus two. Five. Me too. All right then. Okay, Spike's going to attack this guy. All right, Spike is attacking yeah, Lamia. You get plus one for the charge, but minus one because it's a tentacle beast, and you got several sixes. Oh my. We're not hitting. You're hitting on twos. All right, so that means all of those. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn one of these sixes 
into a one, because I could do that once per game with my relic. So that means this one does not hit. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I have four defense dice against it. Let's see what I get. None of them, so I get six damage. Let me check my life. All right, since Claw's got a couple of sixes in there, she has the hammer, and that hammer, anything within three inches, uh, is gonna suffer, what is it? How many damage? Two damage, two damage, everything three inches. So that means my Samael, and my tentacle beast are going to suffer two damage. But since my tentacle beast only had two damage left because of that savage attack, that automatically kills my tentacle beast. Can I have my tentacle beast now? I'm gonna put Lamia over here. I'm gonna take her dice and put it over here. And means you get to roll a soul dice. So let's roll a soul dice for you. There it is. And that is a five. You can put that with your soul dice. Is that a six? Yes. Oh my, that is a six. Sorry, that was a six. Awesome roll. How much damage do you gotta do Samael? Samael does get damage. He has 13 life. That brings him down to 11 life. Samael gets hurt right there. All right, time for Zegan the Covetous to make his move. He gets plus one because he is in now focus combat, as I declared. Uh, and I can turn, my special ability is to turn one of my dice into a six attack or defense. So here it is. Let's see what I get. And I can turn one of my dice attack defense to a six. So that's what I'm going to do right here. All right, so they all hit all ten. All right, and since it's not charging, I don't turn each one of the sixes into a double attack. So it's just, just 10. All right, defend against that. All right, so you defend against one. That means you get hit nine times. Do you have any special ability? I heal two damage every time this demon activates. You haven't activated yet. So at this point in time, how many did you hit me with? Nine. Okay, he has 15 minus 9. All right, so it leaves you at 4. All right, he has 4 life left. 4 life left. Doesn't load well for you, sir. All right. Okay, for my move, my um, armored demon straps is going to attack that guy. All right. So go for it. All righty. Um, what are you hitting on? My combat is five. My combat ability is uh, six. So you're hitting on fours. So one, I can change one combat defense die to six and re-roll one for both attack and defense. So I'll re-roll that one and nice. get a six. Okay. Now nice. you can try. So trying to see. I hope I'm getting this right. I don't know. I'll try. Um, so he has a combat ability of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, all right. So I block one and two. So let's get these two out of the way. I need to hit me for four damage or minus my uh, seven, three. Mm -hmm. Left with three life. All right, good, good hit. All right, so he, Kate, my slaughter fiend, is going to charge in for the attack for thunder cookies. As I have eight, I'm just going to get close over here. Get a little closer. I'm going to charge in with the attack, getting plus one for the attack. And this slaughter fiend, since it's twisted, has a uh, seven attack ability instead of six, so making it eight dice that I'm rolling because I'm charging into thunder cookies. And what is your defense? Six. Um, you have six? All right, I have eight, so that means I'm hitting on twos. Let's see what I do. All right, uh, missed one. That means seven go through. All right, roll your defense. All right, so you blocked one, so six go through uh, right there. And how much does thunder cookies have left is the question. Four. Four life for thunder cookies. Wham, bam, thank you. Okay, Wings is going to try and knock down some life on Samael. All right, go Wings. All right, hitting on fours and three of them go through. Wow, nice. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to defend against that. 
I have seven, and I'm looking to get sixes. Let's see if I can get some. I need to block three. All right, I blocked one of them. Let me see what Samuel has here. Uh, no, no, no. I have a righteousness of three. No, I'm going to get hit with two damage, and that means it takes me down to 11 life. I have 11 life. Oh no, I mean 11, 10, 9, 8. I have 8 life, sorry. I had 11 life. All right, good shot. For my next move, I'm just going to move Thunder Cookies inside to safety. Okay, Shane's is going to attack this one. Zegan the Covetous, my leader. Uh, hitting on fours, that means three go through. Good job. So you got three go through, and this one gets out of here. And now I'm going to defend. I have to defend against three, and I can auto pass one of these. So one, two, three. It does no damage, even if I turn this into that. So there you go. Alrighty, so my spine demon, let's go over here. She's going to come around here, six inches charge, to get that thunder cookies coming from around the house right there. Oh, and hitting on, what is your combat ability? Six. Mine is seven because I'm charging, so I'm hitting on twos. Uh, I missed two, meaning I get five. I get five, so you gotta defend against five and go for it. Uh, you defend against two, so that means three damage to your thunder cookies. Gives them one life left. Ooh, so close. One life left, thunder cookies. All right, so Mara, my slaughter fiend, is gonna go against your chain. She's gonna actually move around here and squeeze in right there. Oh, oh, getting one inch between you. All right, there it is, go to charge in. Let's see, it puts one for the charge, hitting on twos. Let's see, I miss one, six damage. And one damage off, so that means you get five damage on yours. And what does that leave chains with? Eight minus five. Oh nice, so that's three. Yep. Nice. All right, my Impusa is gonna come in for the charge. It's going to be Minfrit versus Minfrit over here. Coming in for the charge, uh, hitting on threes. Let's see if I can do this. All right, so one goes through. Go ahead, roll your defense. And you block it. <laughs> Good job. Next up, Carnate is going to uh, do a focused combat ability against your uh, straps. I keep on forgetting who he is. All right, so hitting on, what's your combat ability? Five. All right, so I have higher, so that means I'm hitting on twos. Let's see, I got two, one, three ones over here. Wow, terrible, so I'm, I got four that go through. Okay, gotta defend against four. What do you get? Let's see, let's see. But, you block one. No, so. but I have choose to change the result of one combat defense dice. Oh, go for it. Six. So that means two, and that means I do two and damage. I re roll one dice. Re roll a dice. And a and attack. Get a six. Come on, come on. Oh, so close. That was a five. All right, two damage. Mm, he has nine life. So that takes him to seven. Seven life left. He's hard to kill. All right, time for my slaughter fiend over there, Bone Reaper, who when in focus combat gets plus two in addition to being focus combat, gets another dice there. So throwing a whole bunch of dice against it. I have more combat ability than yours, and I'm hitting on twos with a whole rack of dice for this slaughter fiend. Let's go. And there's a whole bunch of ones there. <laughs> You're attacking my straps? I am attacking your straps again with my Slaughter Fiend. That means one, two, three, four, five damage go through. Your turn. Let's see if you block it. A lot of sixes, a lot of sixes. And you can turn one of yours into a right reroll or turn into a six? Both. Both. Oh, yeah, you have a whole bunch of relics and stuff. 
All right, so one blocks, that means four damage go through. How much life is left? Three. Three life left, come on now. Oh my goodness, so round four was totally brutal. Thunder Cookies got a little smack down over there. We got some stuff over here. Excellent play with Chains, stopping my leader Zegan from coming in. My Impusa did absolutely nothing. That wall seems to be impenetrable, and it has been crazy for round four, and now it's time for the final round to see who's going to win the Twins. Round five starts now. All right, so my straps is going to go for your carnate, who is the holder of that relic. We're going to see if we can take him down. And I also choose to change the result of one combat defense die. Oh, defense. not there. Attack, I can reroll one dice. Go for it. So let's see what we get. Right. And a five. So we got at least two. And what's your, what's your combat oh, ability? Oh, five. What's your combat ability? Five. So what am I hitting so on? This is six. You're hitting on fours. So oh, they all hit so anyway. they all hit anyway. Wow. That's amazing. Great shot. Okay. Let's see what I defend against. One. So I get five damage to killing Carnate. Oh, 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 dropping the relic right here. Boom. All right. You get to roll a soul die. You get a two. Add that to your mix. All right. For my next round, Claws is going to. Come in here and take, try and take Samael out. Ooh, let's see. All right, so you're hitting on twos. So you take out the ones, one of them turned into auto six, and two go wayside. That means you hit two, four, six, eight. So eight go through and you hit six, so that means two extra damage later. But let me do the defense right, dice mm -hmm. first. Whole bunch of sixes, whole bunch of sixes, whole bunch of sixes. And I did get two sixes right here, so two more of your dice uh, goes bye-bye, all right? And then that means you hit one, two, three, four, five, six damage to my semi-L. Six damage to my semi-L, making it seven, eight, two more damage right there. Now, with my... Wait, and then I'm gonna get Minfrit down. Minfrit, the Malatroid, gets Two, da uh, two damage, right? Because mm -hmm. of the hammer that came down. So that means it has only five life. Now, also, since the hammer came down, you do two extra damage to Samael, killing my second in command. Excellent play. Excellent play. Because by next round, I was going to kick your butt. So good. <laughs> All right, there's a the soul dice for killing Samael. And that's a one. You can add that to your... Alrighty, so my Mara Slaughter Fane is going to try to execute chains over there. And since I'm in focus time, but I get an extra two dice to the roll. And you have a combat ability of four. Mm -hmm. That means I'm hitting on twos. Let's go. All right, let's see. I have one miss right there. And that means I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Go for it. All right, you blocked one of them, so that means I get seven damage to your chains. Does that kill him? Yep. All right, I'm going to go and roll one of my soul dice. All right, and I get a three for that right there, freeing you up, and I'm going to put you right there. Okay, let's go. Your turn. Oh, the Memphrits are going to attack it out. Wings versus Impusa. Let's go. Oh, and you have more of a combat ability. That means four go through. I got to defend. Let me see what I get. Let me get, let me get. I block one, so that means three damage. And let me see how much life I have. I have five damage, so let me see. I have two left. Two life left for my Memphrit. Nice try. 
All right, time for my Zegan to come in, get revenge over Semiel the second. Yes, revenge. He's going to come into that. And he has Essence of the Ram, so every six does double damage. Plus, I get one for coming in and wrecking face. Okay, so let's see. See what I get. See what I get. See what I get. Ready? 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 Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. All right, so I get. I can turn one into an auto six. Auto. Success, I get two sixes. I'm gonna put those over there and then everything else hits. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, what do you get? Defense. Oh, nice, and you can turn one into an, a success. All right, so you successfully uh, defeated against three, so that means I'm gonna take three of these out of here. So that means I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage to your leader, leaving him with what? 17 minus nine. Eight, I think, but do your calculator. Just to make sure. Pretty sure it's eight. Oh, you just got smacked in your face. Is that right? Yeah. All right, I got eight damage for out there. Schmackers! And for my next move, I'm going to take my Cloaks, who has the ability to fly, and he's going to fly up here. Woohoo! Woo! -hoo. Woo. <laughs> he made it! All right, Mara, my Slaughter Fiend is going to come in for the attack for claws and see what kind of damage i do all right hitting on fours let's see what damage i can do let's go come on come on come on roll high roll high oh not bad not bad miss 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 i got four damage against you all right let's see what you block there that was a three all right so you block two and that means Two damage go through. What's your life on Klaus? Eight. Seven. Uh, six. <laughs> Next up, my Lizbell is going to attack Thunder Cookies. Let's go. What's your combat ability? Six. Six, and my Lizbell is six, but one for the focus combat. I get seven hitting on twos. All of them hit. So that is seven damage. Let's see what you can defend against. Uh, you defend against two, so five damage to Thunder Cookies. You only had one life, so that takes them out. Oh, and I get to roll a soul die. Roll to roll a soul dies. Looking at a four right there. I'm going to add that to my cookie crumb. Watch that cookie crumble. Next up, my Impusa is going to attack your wings to try to take it out. Uh, plus one for focus combat. That is three dice. You have four. I am hitting on fours because I am the weaker one. So you get four dice because you're in focus combat too. All right, there you go. I'm hitting on fours. Let's see what I do. Let's go. I do get two successes. Let's see what happens. You defend against one, that means I get one success. How much life does your wings have? Two. Oh my gosh, down to one life. My goodness, couldn't get him, couldn't get him. All right, time for the Bone Reaper to try to take off Straps's little smug face right there. He's in focus combat, so he gets a plus two to his combat ability, plus one because he is in focus combat. And let's see, give me a game, give me a game. Give me. Let's see, uh, being that, um, what is your combat ability for your... Five. That means I'm hitting on twos. Let's see what I get there. Uh, I take away the one. That means I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Luckily, I'm hitting on twos because those rolls weren't that great, but a lot of twos in there. Go for it. Defend against that. I so, get to re-roll one dice. Re-roll dice. Attack and defense. And choose one to change on ring. Oh, that's combat defense. That's combat defense. That means yep. that works. So, so you're going to choose one into a six? Yep. And then you can re-roll one? Yep. Then re-roll another one. Make a six. Oh no, all right, so you block two of them right there. I'm gonna get these two out of the way. And let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six damage. And he has three life, so that takes him up. All right, rolling another soul dice. Let's see what happens right here. Let's hear. All right, that is a one damage. Well, I put a one, there was a one. I'm putting it one. All right, that is another soul dice for me, and that is my final 
activations at the end of the game no one has claimed said that objective is lying there but it was not destroyed and yours is overlooking yours i would think in like a move or two you'd have been able to destroy it i'll probably pick him up with that with uh bone reaper over there but look at him he's just on top he's standing on one leg on top surveying the battlefield um that looks pretty ominous there especially with all the attention over there that's a great move to bring it over here although too little too late round five this is where we at we are at a stalemate i did not win this one i am i am that was superb fighting on nicole's part Cole, you did awesome job <laughs> you did an awesome job this is great round five this was exciting guys this was super exciting it's exciting to see all the strategies employed in this game this game wasn't just run up and smack them this was actually you had to think a little bit before i can get into there and it was challenging for me i loved it all right time to roll to see on the souls lost table for the people that have died and on the relics or uh, essence table for the end of the game. I moved them all. <gasps> yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah. And here we go. All right, time for the chopping block. Straps is on chopping block for the Souls Lost table. Let's see what he gets. That's a 7 and a 12. 7. 19. 19, and that is twisted. And that means you choose either life, combat, and reduce one ability and then increase a different ability. So one ability is go down and increase another ability. All right, next up is fire hands. Fire hands on the travel block. Let's see what you get. All right, you get a four. And a four is warped soul. So any abilities are reset back to the starting status. So you just get a reset for all your abilities. We're gonna look at that later. Next up, Thunder Cookies. Thunder Cookies, not, uh, that's a nine, right? That's on the bottom. Nine, 10, uh, nine, 10, 11. 10, 11, okay, so we have 11 and an 11 is no effects. So didn't get any damage right there. I think Straps is up next. I mean, Spike is up next. There is your second in command. Here it goes. Uh-oh, here's the big guy. All right, that looks like a 19. 19 over here is twisted, so choose one of your abilities and raise it, and then another one of your abilities gotta go down. Okay, next up. Next up is your chains. Let's see what chains gets. All right, that looks like a 21. Mm -hmm. Okay, a 21, a 21 is chaos power. Roll a D3 and then choose, uh, on a one you, on a one choose either move, life or combat and reduce that ability. On a two, nothing happens. And on a three, you increase, right? You choose increase either move combat. All right, so roll a six sided dice and see what you get. Yes, here it goes. All right, so that's a six. You get to increase one of your abilities. Put that down. Oh my gosh, that is such a great roll. So you get actually more powerful from that. Chains, chains, chains. That is intense. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's see. You got twisted, you got chaos power. We just determined that. you and twisted yeah there's all the ones all right so those are the guys on the firing blocks times up for mine all right next up is semi l my second in command let's see what i get on the souls lost table for dying i get a 16 that's what it looks like there and a 16 i get no effect oh my gosh yes oh i was so sweating that all right uh time for my armor demon let's see what the armor demon does over here she had the relic and then got destroyed gets a 21 and a 21 is chaos power that means i roll a d6 if i roll high then um then i gain an ability all right let's see I roll a four, so one and two is I lost. Three and four is nothing happens. All right, 
So there it is. Uh, nothing happens. Mm. Missed that bullet too. Okay, time for my poor <laughs> little um, tentacle beast. All right, it's Lamia. Let's see what happens here. Rolling on the Souls Lost table. Let's see what I get. And I get an eight, and an eight is weakened. So I have to move one of their uh, abilities and weaken it. And I do have one over there is Lamia, and that is another tentacle beast, I think, over there. Or is it Spine Demon? All right, let's see. We're gonna roll for that one. It's across the table. See it there? Right there, I left it on that side of the table. But I'm just gonna roll for it, so it's the sake of time here. Let's see what I get. All righty. And that is a 15, and a 15 is no effect. So there's no effect there, you don't have to write anything. That's great, awesome, awesome possum. All right, time to roll on the rewards table. We both go get it to go and let's see what happens. All right, so you get an 11 and that means no reward found. Okay, you didn't get a reward this time. All right, let's see. I haven't gotten a relic. Would love one. Let's see. All right, uh, 12, eight, nine, 10. That means it's a 20. Am I right there? 12 and eight, 20. My math is terrible. Yes. Okay, that is 20 and no, that. No, no, no. 10. It's 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's 20. Right. No, that's all right. So that means I, ooh, I get to roll 1d3 times on the relic table. That means I roll a d6 and I finally get a relic. My leader can get a relic. He's been able to be able to wield two and he hasn't because I have not gotten a relic since we started. So let me see. If I roll high, I can get three. If I roll middle, I can get two relics. And if I roll low, I'll get one relic. But either way, I'm getting a relic at least. I roll a two, that means I get one relic. One, so I'm gonna to roll once on the relic table. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see what I get for the relics. Once on the relic table. If I roll an 11, 14, nothing is found. So let's see. <laughs> All right, so let's see, that's a nine. That's a 13. That is a 13, and a 13 means no relic found. Of course no relic found. I haven't found one since we started playing. <laughs> like, I haven't even found one then. My goodness, again, the dice are not with me, but well, that's okay. All right, now time for the post game. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a game. What a game. Like, you, no matter what I did, I couldn't win, I couldn't win. I tried, but you kept your people back. You were driving force. You made me drop the relic twice. Uh, I think by the next turn, you would have been able to destroy that relic and win the game, but we only have five turns, so that was the way it is. And the way you kept your guy back, um, that was pretty genius uh, for there. Uh, and then the way you perched it on top, that was pretty cool. That was I'm pretty trying. Cool. You are it, and you're doing really I well. I didn't lose, and you didn't win, so. I don't know, maybe I'm getting a little bit smarter with this and the rules that change for every game. So, you know, sometimes it takes me a while, but oh well. Did you have fun? I sure did. Yeah. Well, that's the important thing. Having fun is the important thing. Um, and just want to remind you, if you haven't hit subscribe button, Hit the subscribe button, help us out. Join the Miniatures Paintbrush. Catch more content on the Miniatures Paintbrush Legion here. Uh, become a member. Also on Facebook, um, on Instagram. And if you care to support us on Patreon, I will give you a shout out. Mike McProom and Emily Yasesco has been supporting the Miniatures Paintbrush. You can join them and get a shout out yourself on the channel. Thank you for all your love. You are appreciated every single day. Thank you, thank you. Um, but if you don't want to join those things, that's fine. Uh, sharing is the kindest thing you could do. If you get the word out about the miniatures paintbrush, about these uh, battle reports, more and more people will watch them, and that will motivate us to, uh, to keep making them. So that's pretty awesome. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. I don't know if that's the context. I don't know, uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, hey, that's what they always say. <laughs> 
forget about it. Hey, forget about it. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for joining us. And if you like this video, like, like share, like, share, comment, comment and, and subscribe. And, and we'll, we'll catch, catch you next time, time on, on the, the Miniatures, miniatures Paintbrush. paintbrush. Oh.